Bricks like this are everywhere. But imagine if they could serve another purpose, to generate enough electricity to power lights and mobile phones. Well, that may now be possible through research being undertaken across the Plus Alliance. The research project was to develop thermogalvanic bricks. Basically, these are bricks that can exploit a temperature difference between, say, the interior and exterior of the habitation, and then use this temperature difference to generate electricity sustainably. So in other words, we're trying to use what would ordinarily be essentially waste heat or waste energy and convert it into useful electricity. We have therefore designed a brick with electrodes, gelled electrolyte and interior support, which generates electricity when exposed to a temperature difference. The goal is to have the brick made from recycled plastic and to have one USB port for every 200 bricks, to access the electricity for LED lighting, mobile phone recharging and other uses. So we anticipate that this product can be used in really a variety of circumstances. So one would be in developing countries or in other applications where people don't have a ready access to electricity, such as a refugee camp. But even here in the United States or in the UK or in Australia, you know, we could see applications for this brick because in almost all buildings, more and more, we're turning our buildings into smart systems. We're a diverse bunch with a diverse skill set and that allowed us to um, tackle the various challenges involved in this project. So for example, at UNSW, they were able to um, exploit their expertise at solar radiation and solar heating in order to test the effect of solar radiation upon the bricks. At Arizona State University, they are experts in sustainability and also building, building practices, 3D printing and so on. And then here at King's, we were able to contribute our chemistry experience, in particular our electric chemistry and our thermogavanic experience to, to make the, the bricks functional. I think just having that kind of, you know, broad expertise from all the different um, universities and all the facilities that are available at all the universities, we're able to kind of make a more complete picture uh, of what should be inside of this brick um, and think about it from a lot of different perspectives and hopefully get something which one day will be commercially viable. Some of the work that I've been um, doing on the project is uh, mainly focusing on um, the research aspect of the project, um, that is being able to perform some testing on the power output that we are able to generate from the thermogalvanic brick. I was involved in the preliminary studies surrounding the prototype. So that meant determining the physical parameters that we would have to use to build the prototype, such as materials that we would use, um, and generally just a proof of concept, like is it possible to implement this in the way that we want. This project would not have existed without the PLUS Alliance. Uh, the opportunity to apply for the seed funding is what engaged us in communicating. Uh, we spoke about what we are currently doing, and by combining our current research interests is how we came up with this unique research project. So the benefits of being part of the Alliance is that it gives you this kind of an opportunity that otherwise you pretty much don't get. That is to work with colleagues literally on two different continents together at the same time. This enabled blue sky thinking. Uh, we were able to put in a project uh, where we could be risky and enabled us to try everything out and then ultimately be successful. We've had a very good working relationship. We each of us bring different skills and expertise to, to the program. And I think in, in that respect, and we've been able to mesh our collective uh, resources together quite well. The impact has been well-trained undergraduates actively collaborating with academics. And this academic network has now spread to, to cover Ireland and also Ghana. Uh, we have a, a patent filed. We are preparing a publication. And we're also in talks about setting up a spin-out company.